Hello everyone and welcome to my first ever video. This video is going to be on Venus flytrap propagation and in this video I'm going to show you three different ways of propagating your Venus flytraps. So the first method I'm going to show you is flower stalk cuttings. So I've tried three flower stalk cuttings which were taken from these adults which flowered earlier this year. And from one flower stalk I cut it into three bits which you can still see the remnants of there. I tried two standing up and one laying down. I cut them into about an inch each sections and placed them just in peat. So these are only in peat. And as you can see, the most successful method is laying them down as I've got a lot more hit rate and a lot more babies in there. So the second method I'm going to talk to you about is leaf pullings from a Venus flytrap. Now this is the hardest I've found in my experience of taking leaf pullings. I've tried many attempts and only ever been successful once with this little one. This one's just over a year old now and it's going for its first dormancy. So you can see it's got a nice little shape but stays rather compact and rather small. However I will try in the future more leaf pullings and seeing how they will turn out by using different methods. This one is just in peat. Now the third method I'm going to show you is propagating your Venus flytrap from seed which I'm going to do a little tutorial about how to sow these seeds in a second but first I'm just going to show you the seeds for reference if you're purchasing them online because you always have to be careful about where you buy them from as there is a lot of fake sellers out there who won't give you proper Venus flytrap seeds. So these are from the same plants from over here. These are the seeds I self-pollinated and harvest from June this year. And as you can see, they produce little flower pods, which some have still got the seeds in, which these have been stored in the cold place. They should still be very successful at germinating. The seeds are very small, little teardrop shapes, which you can see here and here. They're not very big at all. Right, so now I'm going to show you how to sow the Venus flytrap seeds onto the soil. So firstly, you need to make a mix. I'm using peat and perlite mix, so about 50-50 ratio, and the pot I'm using is 7.6 centimetres wide. Okay, so I have now filled the pot with soil and watered it right through with rainwater. It's important to water the soil before you put the seeds on, as they are so small you don't want to bury them or cover them with any of the soil. So I've put the seeds in my hand ready to sow now, as you can see they're there. And now I can just evenly place them onto the top of the soil, like so. Make sure they're all even. Once you've sprinkled all the seeds onto the soil, that's it. All you have to do is make sure that you keep the soil moist. So always water from the bottom using the dish method and never let the soil dry out. So to finish off, I have got a couple of examples to show you. So these ones were sown four weeks ago, and as you can see, they're all just coming up now. As you can see, we've got a few hits there. Little one right here will be producing its first traps very soon. So this is my last example to show you. Um, these were sown in February at the start of this year, and as you can see, they've all grown, they've all got traps. They are quite slow growing, which I've found out but they're very healthy and they look really nice and I'm going to skip their dormancy this year so they will be under the light of my propagator inside and so will the seeds that I've just sown in this video. Thank you so much for watching this video I hope it's helped you understand how to propagate your Venus flytraps and I wish you luck for all those who are propagating their Venus flytraps. 